Hello travelers, wannabe travelers. Are, we're all hoping we can travel again soon if you live in the United States or in South Florida where I live. We're hoping in July of 2020 that we can travel again soon. Um, I want to talk again about how we can't travel. <laughs> but um, people have a way. You know, it, it's kind of like in Jurassic Park where I believe it was Jeff Goldblum, he, his line was, life finds a way, even though you corral animals and you keep them in fences, life finds a way. So I kind of think travel finds a way. There are people in Florida right now, in South Florida, that are traveling. They're going to the Keys and they're doing things. I see it on social media. We're not doing that just yet, but a friend of mine, uh, her name is Anne, uh, sent me a very, very funny thing about uh, from Rick Steves that um, if you are missing international travel, and so he hit in Rick Steves, the travel writer, the, the well-known travel writer who has a show, has had a show for a very long time on public uh, television, and he has a show on public radio as well. If you don't know him, I can't imagine as a traveler listening to this, you don't know who Rick Steves is, but he's also an activist. He's a Democrat, and he has causes for the homeless which I think is wonderful, and he is very has been very involved in legalizing marijuana. He thinks that it is uh, should be along the lines of, of tobacco and and alcohol. So he he does he's he he's a busy guy, but he had invited, according to this this little thing that my friend sent me, he had invited people who were missing travel to send their you know kind of non-travel <laughs> travel suggestions and and I guess they will pick a winner or everyone will vote and it will you know you'll get to pick a winner but to me I don't even think picking a winner is necessary because they're they're all really good some of them um, you've probably seen if you have seen the one on social media where uh, people will post a map and it's like a wine a wine tour and you go from room to room, and you have a, in your own home, and you have a different wine in every room. So, um, when he asked for uh, no travel tips, uh, he got nearly 3,000 comments uh, about them, and, and some of them are really, uh, really good. One of them is I, I'm I'm going to paraphrase because I don't want to to read them verbatim. But uh, if you do, you can find them uh, online, or if you follow him on social media. Um, one of them is to attach a nozzle to your toilet and you know pretend that that it's a that it's a bidet. Uh, one that I uh, that I really liked was to gather all your little toys and trinkets and follow your in your house. And follow your housemates around showing off each toy while shouting one euro, one euro. <laughs> I just, I thought that would really make make people feel like they were in an international, uh, international place. Um, uh, you can, uh, you can switch up the shower, you know, the hot and the cold in your on your faucets. You can hang a a, a heavy string with a fob on your shower. Uh, you can dig a hole in your backyard and tell your family <laughs> that's the that's the new toilet. I really liked this one. If you stand in your linen closet with a suitcase and pretend you're in a classic old European hotel lift, I really like that. Detach your toilet seat and just sit on the porcelain. Uh, this is to me this is priceless. Uh, stand around the corner from a painting. Just stand there for hours, waiting to get. To see it, <laughs> I think that's hilarious. One of them is about water. If you want, uh, you know, when your quarantine partner asks if you want water, you say gas or no gas. That's <laughs> that's pretty standard. Uh, you put all the mirrors in your closet, kind of the same thing, and grab all your luggage and your family, 
and then stand in the closet with your luggage and squeeze tightly and ask, you know, what floor. Uh, ask your housemates uh, thing questions in a foreign language. Just uh, really, really freak them out. Uh, place your lazy boy, we don't have one, but uh, in front of your partner, you know, like right in front of them, like an, uh, you would be on an airplane. And, and then uh, recline it all the way back <laughs> so you're on an airplane. Or you could put your recliner in front and, and sit there and don't recline and eat snacks, your own snacks and beverages as though you, as though you, you know, uh, brought them onto the airplane. This is really good too. Every time your children, I'm going mean, to have children at home, but uh, mind the gap whenever they get in and out of the car. I, I think that's, uh, I think it's really good. Uh, get your entire family on the sofa after breakfast and, and talk about your tour excursion. Uh, which, as you use in National Geographic magazine. Oh, and this is a good one. Find a rec uh, recording of glorious church bells and set it as your alarm to go off at 6 o'clock. This one I think I may actually do because I, I like this a lot. Name the rooms in your house after your favorite countries. And then you'll travel internationally every day. So I'm pretty sure that's one that I am definitely going to do. Another one was uh, go and tour your, your neighbor's backyards, their gardens, and take photos <laughs> of it. Um, if you want more about these no travel tips, you know, you know go, go find him on social media. He's a, he's a pretty interesting guy, even if you don't travel much or if you're not a fan of his. Uh, for all of his activism, kind of like Richard Branson, uh, we were to have been on a virgin, uh, kind of a, a, a uh, one of their very first uh, cruises uh, uh, out of Miami uh, this month. And, uh, of course, that did not happen. But Richard Branson, I follow him on Instagram. And he has cut his hair and as he's, he's still, you know, showing photos of the Scarlet Lady, his cruise ship. And he's grown his facial hair. I just, it's like, I don't like any of that. Don't, don't do that. But while we're talking about no travel tips and Rick Steves, I want to talk about Gary Barker, who is my partner and does a lot of travel writing. And he has for quite some time. And he has written for various publications. Uh, one of them is All Things Cruise, but, but several others. Um, but he also has a lot of travel information on our website, which is northpalmbeachlife.com. And that is where the, this podcast rests. And my other podcast as well are there. If you're just home chilling out and you're not traveling, I also have four ebooks that you may purchase on Amazon. Uh, if you have the Kindle app, uh, it's very, very simple. If you have the Kindle app, um, I, I, I'm not sure if you can read them for free, but they're almost free anyway at 99 cents. They're just fun, light reads. Um, so you can pretend like you're on an airplane while you're reading one of my novels with my with my, my fictional characters, my ensemble. But I hope that you will visit uh, Rick Steves for the uh, no travel tips, but also our website and all of our great travel information. We traveled extensively last year. Gary, my, my partner in all of this, also did a, a section on there just of my clothing. Um, of what kind of my, my different different things that I wore. Summer hits and summer misses. I'll tell you for sure. Uh, but as I as I groomed a, a donkey at a, at a sanctuary last year, on one of our trips, um, I will say that my ensemble matched right down to my shoes. So uh, there I am brushing a, a donkey, uh, a sanctuary donkey. It was so sweet. It was so wonderful. And if you if you ever travel and you have the opportunity to 
to do something like that, to, to volunteer in one of these countries, do it because it's really worth it or it was for us. So anyway, if you have no travel tips and you want to you want to send them to me, I will I will talk about them on Travel Bistro and I want to thank my friend Anne for sending such a cool. She's also a, a traveler. None of us are right now and I think it's great that we're trying to keep a, each other's spirits about not being able to travel. I appreciate you stopping in to Travel Bistro and pulling up that chair and listening uh, as I as I try to to help get us through not being able to travel. Travel on when you can. <laughs>